Hello there everyone, Angelic Gamer of Ravensaw here and I am finally playing Hogwarts Legacy in a longer capacity. I've been holding off for a while just so I can get a grasp of the gameplay, flying controls and so forth, but I'm still worried about giving players spoilers, so I'm mostly just going to be exploring, causing a little chaos and taking on side quests for today. I'm pretty much only 13 hours in and I feel like I've only just scratched the surface so far. So let's get home to Hogwarts. To me, they've done a brilliant job with the environments of this game. It looks so pretty and I'm glad they just didn't... Oh, thank God. That's wise and for me. Uh, Handy resource indeed. You're yes, thank you. you. Pleased to be included? As I was saying, I'm... I'm glad they just didn't copy the castle from the other Harry Potter games and the movies because this one feels really unique including the surrounding countryside as well. Oh, of course it's locked and I don't have Hello Hamori yet. Are you okay, Grey Lady? No, come back. Oh. Thing. Well, no doubts about it, I'm a Ravenclaw through and through in this game. Oh, hello. You fight I've not really seen that many ghosts in the game so far. This is actually quite cool. You two gonna fight again? Ah, more subtle than last time when you just beat the shit out of him. Ah, uh, wait till dawn then. <laughs> Did she just go sleep on the floor and just get back up in the morning? Hello. What do you got for me? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. Okay, let's try casting Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. Whoa. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Uh, okay. I hadn't done this before. <laughs> I've just found a butterfly by chance before. Like the location there you are. What could be so? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, it's a moth. I thought it was a butterfly. So pretty. Knox. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle with that empty frame. Field page. Thank you. I love the little tune that does when you pick up a page. It's really tying into the movies. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. Oh, Peeves, there you are. The house cup. Stop being mean, Peeves. God knows what I thought throwing spells at him was going to do. Miss Blue. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the nice way. Nice to meet you. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> ah, flying books. That takes me that back. sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Collect them and bring them to me. I can remove the charm. Okay, to the library we go. Got it. I need four more to go. Hello. Come down. This oh. must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Ravenia. 
Oh, there's one. No, we have to use Akio. Oh, it's the field guide. At least these books don't attack you like in the old games. Ah, uh, yes, you're the librarian, aren't you? Bam! There's one. Gotcha. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Oh, this game is so beautifully designed. Even the doors have my heart to flutter. Mer people. Hopefully, we don't have to go into the dark lake at any point. <laughs> Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Any time. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Uh, no, I'm not going to ask for an award. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trusting. I'm not really one of those people in RPGs that constantly ask for money. Oh, another one. I always knew you were a I wonder. Ah, I, no I was hoping to save her the pain and misery. Avalanche did an amazing job in this game. I know I keep saying it, but I really got to sing those sort of praises. Especially since, from what I know, their other game was that Disney Inf Infinite or something. And this is so far, far and beyond that sort of game. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a ah, another Weasley? I know just what to do with you. I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired oh, beverage, no. but I'm missing a key ingredient. I can see where Fred and George got their attitude from. Can't wait to see what you brew up. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, <laughs> not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. I'd be happy to. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Uh, I'll give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. This looks like the right statue. Where? Now what was the password? Oh, there it is. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? We actually get to explore the secret passage. Oh, yes. that's so Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh, I love this. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Um. Oh, I've got just a spell for that. Repair well. Such amazingly detailed. That seems to have done the trick. Down we go. 
No, I need Lumos. Lumos. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey juice. I hope they don't mind if I just destroy their entire cellar. I say, what is causing those explosions down below us? Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Uh, let's check out their stocks. Lewis. Billywick stings. There we go. I have the dried billywick stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Okay. Guess we've got to go back through the passageway. Home sweet home. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honey I was indeed. Don't do something you'll regret. <laughs> Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywick stings. You got them! Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Whiz beer. Oh dear. Looking forward to see how it blows up. She is. How is she going to insult me today? Ah, you're saying that again. Please go away. Here you go. And now to Scarpa. <laughs> Moment of your silence and attention. Oh, so it's you guys playing the music as I walk through here all these times. That's cool. I like that. Nothing new inside here. Oh. <laughs> More ghostly antics. That life is behind me. I promise. The life is behind me. A no bit of destruction never hurt anyone. But I always clear up after myself. He says, without clearing up. There we go. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. What is it, first year? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Th that's harsh. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Yep, I remember that from the Order of the Phoenix game. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. That's beyond cruel. Yeah, overreacting much. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to That's help. That's very specific, but I can do it. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Um... There it is. Oh, 
That's one of Zenobia's cobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Granted, it hasn't spit over us yet. <laughs> Get over here. An eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's ah, cobstones. There it is. Ah, the Great Hall. Hope you're all enjoying your dinner. Oh dear. Oh, he's getting beaten up again. There he goes. To be menacing elsewhere. Lumos. Ah, and I'm ready to go. Butterfly, where are you? There it is. Lumos. Not the way some of the food on the table is taken exactly out of Philosopher's Stone. Simple enough. Where is it? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's concert. There it is. Places around the school for Ooh, things to trash. Oh, the best part about trophy rooms. <laughs> Got a ton of those armors everywhere. Oh, is there another field page? I do declare. The Goblet Fire Casket! Oh, that's cool. So much more bigger in the fi than the film, then. Of course, she'd put it with the Quillage Cups. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Still think that's armour for Hagrid. Long in the future. He just never gets to wear it. I'm glad I figured these rooms out in the end. Quite simple when you realise that the demiguise here is actually zero instead of one. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my yep. gobstones. Got them all. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well. <clears throat> May I have my gobstones back? Yes, of course. I'm not going to keep them. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Best of luck. I'm sure you'll go far in Hogwarts. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. Lewis. Of course. You wanted to speak with me? I did. 
Hello, I'm Duncan really? Cockhouse. You look like Harry Pleasure Potter. to meet you. <laughs> I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I've had some good luck. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in the fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Are you afraid of your own shadow too? I'm not going to tell the mick out of him. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue <laughs> up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Oh, good lord, that is very unkind. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Yeah, there's a hidden corridor? one. Yes. Rumour has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. What the... Did I just hear growling or was that my stomach? Oh, it's the dragon! I didn't know that was up there. Have a cabbage. I'll take that. What? Ah, oh, dragon bush. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. I should corridor. hope so. We just walked around for it. See if we can fix this. Repair. Nope, too old. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Devil's snare, devil's snare is deadly fun, but we'll sulk in the sun. It's like the rats from Plague Tale. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Oh, don't bite me, don't bite me. I don't think it's awake, otherwise it would have eaten me by now. Thank you for all Any time. No more puff scheme dunking for me. 142 staircases, and this is where they put me. Um, what cargo I was just saying that? Awful when they ask you a question. Oh, it's you, grubby little faces. I just die. <laughs> Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. I'm always up for an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sounds intriguing. Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me! You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Let's get to work. Um. Okay. I know exactly where to go. Kind of. A place? Hmm. A rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Mm. This stairwell looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, 
Where's the treasure? Just need to vacuum a bit. Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Oh, I love hidden doorways. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shoot me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Step in the puddle of boxes. Stars indoors. So stars. pretty. There's a credit pitch. Not going to see any use this year. <laughs> Less DLC comes out, of course. Hello. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. Okay. Simple enough. That was one for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. Whew. I'll let you have that one. You better. Nothing to it. Okay, this will be the deciding vote. Not bad. Not bad. Well Thank done. you. You beat me. Now that's what I'm talking good about. Luck. That's all. Oh. Eager test. There's no need Come to be upset, it's just a competition. No for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I think it's for the best. At least you can still walk on the Quidditch Stadium. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Yo. Imelda Rays? I'll be weak sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught it's called showing helping. Up in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Don't Tell that to the level. Skill. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Give her a slap. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Fine. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Hopefully I've got flying nailed down after all my practicing. This reminded me of Saints Row getting those little pus balls to um catch up speed. Brilliant.
We may not have Quidditch in the game, but at least there's some good flying segments. Gonna make it. <laughs> oh, not too bad at all. Spit in your face. That's not. You must have cheated. You. Oh. <laughs> Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. Can't fly into the village, just land right outside it. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I miss the old. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. I do indeed. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. I saw what you did! Oh. Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves! Hand them back! Hand what back, sir? But we've not took a thing! Hand <laughs> them back! There's nothing to give, sir! It was only the one! Uh, that's all of them, sir! Honestly, I swear! How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir! Promise, sir! We'd never take more than those! I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. You needed a delivery done. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I hate to go off book, but looking at his vest, it's got the fleur de lure on it, and I'm just reminded of Saints Row, especially with the colour purple there. I hope he's given me the invisibility potions. Uh, yep, he has. I know we've been expecting this game for a while and all, but it just feels so surreal to actually have it existing now. Just being able to fly around in a world that we've only ever seen in the likes of books and movies, and now we've finally got a full open-ended game about it. What a time to be alive. Wonder who lives here? That Pippin should have been here by now. Ha. You don't get Pippin, but you do get me. Madame Luang? I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. 
You'll not be getting a cannot out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Of course. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. And what do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Could do some Wigan world. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Oh, did she? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate it. Cantankerous. Your help. And at what least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> well, Always a pleasure. Of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Well, I think I shall leave it there for today. To be honest, I'd love to record so much more. It's such an amazing game. But I'm really kind of pressed for time today, I'm sorry to say. But I really appreciate you all watching as always. Let me know if you would like to see more. Chances are I might do a story-based episode next time. That'll probably be next week, so other people can get a grasp of the story. Personally, I know we've only just started 2023's gaming one, but... This is definitely my game of 2023 this, thus far. So until next time, I shall bid you all adieu for now.